So we use the Song of Soaring to warp back to the entrance of Great Bay Temple in part 27 of Majora's Mask. We're finishing it today, folks. <laughs> what, the game? No, no, no. The, the, the temple. I seriously miss being able to do that in Wind Waker. Finding these stupid vases around the dungeons so that I could warp around just wasn't the same. Did any of you actually use those? Because I didn't. I did. I did. Because sometimes, uh, the, they, well, there was usually one near the boss door, and I, I, w I was playing completely blind, so sometimes I found the boss door before the boss key, so I activated the, the, the thing, and I used that to get back to the boss door after I got the big key. Okay, that's fair enough. It, they, they they worked exactly like the tele like the world map teleportation points in Link's Awakening though you had to jump in the in the vase and then you'd pop out the next one in the sequence and then if it wasn't the place you were trying to go you had to jump back in and keep doing that until you showed up where you wanted to be. <laughs> you having fun there, John? You spin oh, yes, him, him right, <laughs> right round, <laughs> baby, right round. You know what? Song uh, Goddess of Time. I really don't feel like walking today. <laughs> no, no, no. no I'm, I'm imagining Zora Link in the in an airport on one of those conveyor belts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what'd be even funnier is like if the spirit of the mask actually stayed with him, so you get like a piccolo nail kind of thing, and yeah. Mikau is just, just talking to him during that. But like, not now, Mikau. Trying to find Georg over here. Yay! <laughs> Oh, I composed a funky beat just for this. <laughs> Here we are. So, the reason for all of the... Wait, have you gotten all the stray fairies? Um... Yes, I oh. have. Oh, okay. For the reason for all the gear shifting, the water switching, is to reverse the flow of Great Bay Temple. Because without doing that, uh, you can't get to the boss door. And here we are. May I remind <laughs> the audience that... <laughs> May I remind the audience that in the Japanese version, there is a clipping glitch you could do at the very beginning of the temple that you could do to skip to this part of this temple. Sweet ass vibes. It and is. that's why everyone runs that game for speedruns. Oh, <laughs> uh, great day, <sighs> temple boss. Here it, here it comes. Oh, it's a singing fish. No, the job singing bass. God damn it. <laughs> it's a singing bass. Gargantuan Mass Fist, George. <laughs> Alright! Looks like he jumped right out of a children's color book. See George jump. So that, 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 that's all you, I got. What the hell is this thing? It's a Mass it's, Fish? It's, it's, it's George. Uh, judging by the animations, it's a giant goldfish that's having a seizure. It is a fish, and it is pissed the fuck off. Yeah, the, the, the 3D remake, as Tom was getting at last part, was that it gave it an eye in its mouth. That's Why? probably what you're aiming for with the arrows, to stun it. Was it, is it, did people not get that you're supposed to hurt the boss? You're not gonna bore it to death, you gotta use something to kill it. Alright, stri strategy, John, how do you beat this guy? <laughs> okay, well, George likes to swim around the arena, but that's your cue to whip an arrow out, give it an arrow treatment, it'll be stunned. You have to hear, when you hear that roar, that means you hit it. So it's stunned for a bit. After that, you get inside your Zora form. Then you can either, uh, no, I guess the only way you can injure it is via the shockwave with the electric barrier attack. So you swim right into that son of a bitch while having that shockwave emitted, lather, rinse, repeat. And that's all he's doing. Once he starts releasing small fishes, I believe you are past the halfway point. So, you know, it's just a matter of avoiding his attacks and <laughs> counterattacking with the electric the barrier. Yeah. Okay, now, um, now, apparently this is one of the more annoying bosses in the game. Uh, or so I've heard. Um, George gives a lot of people shit. I, I'm not sure what the basis for it is. I always found George to be pretty simple. His damage output is pretty high. Uh, especially if he manages to uh, swallow you whole temporarily, I think that does like three or four hearts. If you're really unlucky, and you're like, like <laughs> he missed me there. I'm surprised I didn't get hurt there. But well, there's a few problems. Number one, the main problem is the camera is it, it's just not. You don't have a wide enough view to see Georg, and uh, I, I guess I won't go into the other problems because he's dead now. That was a nice run. Right. It does look like it could be a finicky boss. The, by camera issues, we're talking about when you're Z-targeting him and how the platform you're standing on is obscuring uh, George, because 
because th- I never really found that. I, I get, I can understand why that would be an issue, but I never found it to be an issue because if I'm Z targeting something, I know it's him, and I know he needs an arrow to the face to stun him. So it's not a matter of whether or not I can see them. My bow and arrow is going to do the job for me. Well, it, it, there's that, but also when you're trying to get back onto the platform, you have no idea where he is because he's just mm. swimming out of your view. And landing on the platform is pretty finicky in itself. I, I like the do- I like the Zora jump on it, just to be a little more, uh, yeah, you know, cosmetic. But I, I think it's the transition from like going from the platform, which he can jump onto. By the way, he didn't show it off there, but he can attack you on the uh, going from the platform into the water, sinking down, hitting him, and then getting back on there before he eats you. Yeah. I hate when text goes super slow like this. What are the ends? <laughs> well, you know, I can't even verbalize these words that slowly. Well, I think Tattle's translating. So... <laughs> it takes but a yeah, very I... long time <laughs> to speak it. Translate this. a little bit faster, damn it. Me and my giant friends have all had a big talk, and we've decided, yes, that you are not school kids. <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a turtle. Hey, glad to see that you dished me in the temple, buddy. Ah, uh-huh, surprise! I'm the real boss of Great Bright. Oh, <laughs> dead. <laughs> I'm going to be a stage hazard in a fighting game soon. So oh. this guy is this guy is the equivalent of um, the lion turtle. From Avatar, he just shows up when you need like stuff to happen. Turtles sure. are the sign of tedium in Zelda. He was the, he was our way of getting into the Great Bay Temple, and you know we we meet him back here on this island, and that's good and all. But he assumed that we had another method of getting back here. He left us. <laughs> Mikhail, you came back safely. Ooh, uh, yeah, about that. Don't go to the shoreline anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, don't worry, we're gonna go back in time in a little while, and this awkward encounter will have never happened. Hooray? Hopefully. Cushion anyway, mark. Lulu's got her voice back, so she's gonna sing us a tune. Time Let's travel is great for erasing misunderstandings. This is the Indigo Goes here at Brave Scratch Commentaries. I still can't get over the fact that he's strumming on a giant lobster claw. No, I think it's just the, the, the skeleton of a fish. No, I was talking about the other guy on the other side. The bass oh, player. He's got, a, he's got a giant lobster claw. Well, he's playing bass. Who knows how those people were? The keyboard guy over there could probably like take a smoke break and nobody would even notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an auto-playing piano. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Do you get nothing for that? No, it's just... I, I thought it was going to be an ocarina song or something. <laughs> Now, we might be seeing that song sometime later down the road. Never know. In fact, I would recommend you guys look up the remix of that. I think it was done by the same people who did um, uh, the Smashing Live concert. Wait, really? Well, there there is an official arrangement of the uh, the Indiegogo song uh, somewhere out there, and it's pretty good stuff. You can find it easily on YouTube. I might even leave a link in the description if I remember to do that. Probably not. <laughs> or if I just get lazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where are we off to now, mate? No, I go to swim like a dolphin. No, okay. Great base finished. So now we got a plethora of mini games to do as a result of clearing that temple. Oh, you can only do them if you've uh, cleared the boss of Great Bay, then, right? Yeah, if you, you clear Great Bay, George, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are we going to? Uh, are we going to be saving our fellow swimmers from alien invasions or anything? No, no. <laughs> that was a one-time deal. Oh, sad face. What you is have, that? You have to. It's a boat. But uh, you have to ride. Yeah, this I'm boat. getting bad sunshine flashbacks. <laughs> but this no, came out no. before sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no Yoshi's here. They're always reusing ideas. No, it wasn't even the boat that was the problem with that. It was the fact that you had to get a Yoshi and carry it over with the boat. And if you fucked up halfway, you had to go get another Yoshi. Uh... Yeah, you have to ride this boat to this area because you need to hook shot to these platforms. You can't. Do- I don't think you can dolphin jump on these. No, nope, they're too high. And you wonder why business is shit. <laughs> 
By the way, I put that photo to good use. <laughs> oh, you right. know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't talking about masturbation. Get your mind out the gutter. Yeah, what the hell, man? Hey, this is a pretty simple mini game. You simply jump on the platform where the lit torch is at. You do that until time runs out, and you're good to go. Peace of heart. <laughs> this sounds like a Mario Party mini game. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, but this has auto jumping controls, so. Ugh. It's not that hard. It, it's really not. I would recommend before every jump, unless oh. you, you know, you got platform analog stick skills of steel, uh, to reset the camera before each jump. What happens if you fall in the water? Do you lose? Mini game's over. Yeah. Well, uh, there's like a full two minutes here, so it really shouldn't take that long to get 20 jumps. No, no. And yeah. after you get after you get like 21, you can just stop and wait. Or you yeah, can you jump can. into the you, water. And yeah, you can just you can just jump into the water if you want to. Yeah, no, I'm, like, par I'm paranoid and think it won't count at some point, so I'll just wait. Uh, is there any extra prize for doing super good? No. Oh. It would Bra actually be pretty helpful if the camera was pulled back just a little bit more. <laughs> what it's was like, I saying during the Georg fight? No, it's like, in this case, it's it's the torches you're looking for, but the torches are always, like, just barely off screen, or That's maybe they're I'm being saying. covered... Or, no, or, or maybe they're being covered up by your goddamn sword emblem. And no, no, actually, Georg, that's not that's not so much a problem, because Georg is too small to be covered up by your sword emblem. But here, it, it, even the, even the, the uh, heads-up display is an enemy. <laughs> Why is the sword thing even here? What are you supposed to be slashing at? <laughs> Right through the yeah. fire? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's a pretty simple mini game. It's definitely one of the easier ones. I've never done this, so. N nevertheless, still a bit nerve wracking, especially when you're approaching 20, because, you know, I've had maybe two times where I hit the camera reset button and then it didn't do anything, but my analog stick was already pushed forward thinking the camera would do something. <laughs> and I end up gimping my jump, or end up jumping the completely wrong way because uh, I didn't reorient myself properly. Nice. Stop it! Stop it! You've already won! I, I don't give bonus prizes, young man. <laughs> you gave that one 150%. Good job. Yeah, but now I'm bankrupt. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Tell him dumb fuck was here. Now I'm going to fly like a pretty pretty. I'm the master of party games. Zelda party, make it happen. You can play as Link, Zelda, Impa, and Gyarhi. But don't invite Ganondorf. <laughs> no, Gan no, Ganondorf. Ganondorf is a Bowser. <laughs> yeah, Ganondorf can come. <laughs> wow, poor Bowser. Wh Wind Waker Ganondorf was a gentleman, I'll have you know, until he kind of went into his murder rage fancies thing. <laughs> okay, actually, this is really confusing me because. I was uh, under the impression that even though Zelda and Link keep on getting reincarnated, it was always the same Ganon slash Ganondorf. But no. then, oh, there comes the Smash Brothers Palutena conversations, and Viridia's like, there's been multiple Ganons, and I'm like, what? No, there, wasn't there only one? So, yeah. <sighs> Screw this mythos and its stupid It, it, it just bullshit. depends on the game. <laughs> yeah. Wait, was there ever any doubt that it, there was never a different incarnation of Ganon? Well, it, it, I thought... I don't even know. <laughs> the the one in the Oracles games is definitely a reincarnation, but one that just didn't take, really. Hmm. Well, I always took it there was different reincarnations of Ganon. It was never, ever the same dude. Yeah. Well, he's always game. sealed away, is the thing. He's, like, never really killed. Well, so... no, there are times where he outright dies. You know, Ganon in Zelda 1 died. Yeah, Ganon in Zelda 1 died. Uh, Ganon in, uh, at the end of Twilight Princess, Ganon. No, no, he might have died, but he was going to be brought back in Zelda 2, so that doesn't even, death doesn't stop him. Yeah, he was going to be brought back, but it's not like he was sealed away, he can be brought back. Uh, he, he was going to be brought back, but yeah. well, assuming you actually back. didn't didn't lose the game, he wasn't. Yeah, but if he, get, if he gets brought back, that doesn't mean he's a new person, it just means that he was brought back. <laughs> He was also killed in Wind Waker. Well, is he in any of the games that take place after Wind Waker? Like, nope. nope. Okay, well then, you know. There. So, yeah. <laughs> so, 
I don't even know what it's supposed to be anymore. <laughs> the deepest lore. <laughs> no, this this lore's about as deep as the puddle we're standing in. <laughs> this better be good for f- having to make us do three parts of Great Bay. Oh, I would say I would consider it a good reward. We're getting double defense. Ooh, the little white light around the hearts. Yep, the badge of honor, don't you know? Now imagine if you had to play through the entire game with the power up theme from Link's Awakening going because you picked up a Guardian Acorn and put, couldn't put it down. <laughs> I never found that theme to be annoying, but I can understand why people hate it. Well, that's why you play Link's Awakening DX and you get the blue tunic. No, oh, the Shatoru money's finally kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hey, uh, oh, wait a minute, I'm like 12. I shouldn't be d- drinking this crap. <laughs> Wait a minute, I shouldn't be listening to myself. I'm drunk. <laughs> uh, I'm 17 and I have a timeline. Fuck it. Duh. Uh, anyway, there's one thing I did want to bring attention to. There is actually deleted cutscenes in Majora's Mask. Uh, one of them involved whenever Link got a new power-up or an upgrade from the Great Fairy. Uh, it, 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 the cutscenes are still in the coding of the game, but if you were to hack it in via Game Genie, you can see scenes where the Great Fairy is like giving Link a drill sh- like drill instruction. Like She's like, like a drill instructor. You know, forcing Link to do like push-ups and sit-ups and all those sorts of exercises, and that's originally how he was supposed to get all these upgrades. That's amazing. I don't know why they cut it out, but you can see well, the videos yourself. That that kind of that kind of training montage sort of thing doesn't really fit very well with the time system. It is. I, like, I I th- I find it comedic though. Like you know, I never. It, it's comedic, but it's the sort of thing that raises more eyebrows when you have a timer on the game than if it were to happen in, say, Ocarina. Well, like, the cutscenes don't uh, have a timer, so, you know, it just... It's, well, it's, yeah, I know, but that that sort of thing sounds like it would have, like, a sort of a fade-in, fade-out uh, Im- implication that that time had passed. So what are we doing here, John? The Danjiro side quest. I hate this because this it's is the most boring one in the game. It, it's the most tedious because you now have to gather up all of the frogs for a musical number that lasts all ten seconds. But you have to go to four individual areas to find the specific frog. Two of those frogs are inside temples that you only rescue via mini bosses. We're back in Woodfall, by the way. <laughs> So you have to kill him to get oh. the frog to appear. Oh, and you have to... That means you have to go through the temple enough to get to these parts in the first place. Yes. Oh, so, yeah, screw trying to do... Oh, yeah, that's the boss key. You have to go most of the way through Windfall. Uh, I would recommend I mean, starting... I mean, Windfall, if, sorry. <laughs> I would recommend starting the Donjiro quest the moment you rescue the frog mi- in in, from Bay. the mini-boss in Great Bay. Because you do not want to go through all that in Great Bay over again. You know? This uh, I this is a side quest I could have done without. This is not fun. Well, let's hope uh, in the 3D remake they uh, move them somewhere else. Yeah, well, change the location or get rid of it entirely. Because well, no, they I, can't I, get I, I rid of a side quest. That'd be cutting out content. True, true. Wait, why are we fighting goat? Uh, because we also need to make sure the area is in spring. No snow. They don't like performing in snow because they're picky like that. Do the- well, they're called blooded, so. Oh, so do you like? Are you given a hint that you have to do all, th- do all this? Yes, because the first thing you see or hear anyway, by the time you land back in the, the springtime snowhead, is the frog. And okay. he's sitting in a, oh, he's sitting on a lily pad, and there's like four empty spots next to him. You can't talk to any of the frogs though, unless you have the Donjiro mask on. So, I uh, hope you know how to do that. Anyway, we're poor goat man. We've killed him like five times in this playthrough just to initiate other side quests. Please stop, I just want to die. <laughs> Here we are. Where's we'll Big the Cat when you need him? Froggy. Uh, All this for a piece of heart. Wait, really? Hang on. It, it, is this a reference to Link's Awakening DX, where you get that song from that one frog? What, Wart? <laughs> yeah, who is basically Wart. Maybe? Um, it's a lot of What does this song do? Nothing. The you Wart get a piece song? Of heart. Oh yeah, the, the song itself, yeah. It's just, it's just for a piece of heart. Nothing else. That's it. Yeah, the uh, song that you got from Wart was the song that brings things back to life. Basically, you use it to resurrect the flying rooster, and you use it to 
bring Turtle Rock to life so you can kill it and get into the dungeon. Yeah, you... Back into the geckos you go, you bastards. <laughs> I'd love to see the frogs just flying backwards. <laughs> No, 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 Dodgero, why? <laughs> the piece of heart just flies away with them. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I, God forbid. <laughs> no, come back! 